In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to use the zero exponent rule. This is a very simple rule, but there are a couple of details we need to nail down. Think about this example. 5 to the third divided by 5 to the third. According to our quotient rule, we should be able to subtract the exponents. So 3 minus 3 is 0, and 5 to the third divided by 5 to the third would equal 5 to the 0. On the other hand, we know that 5 to the third is equal to 5 times 5 times 5. So if we look at it this way, we can cancel these 5's, and the whole thing just simplifies to 1. So it must be that 5 to the 0 is equal to 1. In fact, there's nothing special about the 5. We could do this with any base. So any base to the 0 power equals 1. And that's what the zero exponent rule says. Anytime we have an expression like this, it can be simplified to simply 1. Here are a couple of examples. 7 to the 0 equals 1. And negative 3 to the 0 equals 1. Because the base here is negative 3, and anything to the 0 power is 1. Now you do have to be careful about negatives because without parentheses, the negative is not part of the base. We saw this in an earlier lesson when we were learning how to first use exponents and we learned how to square and raise to the third power and so forth, and we talked about how if it's not in parentheses, the negative doesn't get squared. Well, here, if it's not in parentheses, the negative doesn't get raised to the zero power. In this example, negative three to the zero the base is 3. The negative is not part of the base. So 3 to the 0 becomes 1, but the negative is still here. 3 to the 0 becomes 1. That's what I have underlined here, but the negative stays. Let's look at 10x to the 0. Well, here the base is x. So x to the 0 is 1, but the 10 is going to stay. So 10x to the 0 becomes 10 times 1, which simplifies to 10. x to the 0 is 1, but the 10 is still there, and the final result is 10. On this example, the base is negative 8, and anything to the 0 power is 1. And on this example, the base is 10x, and anything to the 0 power is 1. Let's look at a few more together and I recommend that you pause the video and try these by yourself and see if you really get it. Okay, anything to the zero power is one. Here the base is negative ten. Anything to the zero power is one. Here the base is ten because the negative is not in parentheses. The negative is not being affected by this exponent. So the negative will stay and 10 to the 0 is 1. Here, 20x to the 0, the base is x, and the exponent is 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1, but the 20 will stay where it is. So we get 20 times 1, which is 20. And on this example, 20x to the 0, anything to the 0 power is 1. In this one, the, the base is the entire 20x.